Each year, the U.S. graduates nearly a quarter million engineers. So where do they go? If you've recently graduated, or if you're looking for a new job and a change of scenery, where should you go? Following is Design World's list of the top 13 U.S. cities for engineering professionals. Coming in at number 13 is North Carolina's R&D and educational hub, Raleigh-Durham, coupled with nearby Chapel Hill. Number 12 is a little surprising, but aerospace fans won't be phased that Huntsville, Alabama is on the list. And slotting in at number 11 is Los Angeles, said by some to have the most engineers of any metro area in the country. We start off the top 10 with automotive heavy Detroit, and then another aerospace defense center, Dayton, Ohio at nine. Austin, Texas comes in at number eight, followed by Boston at seven, Dallas at six, and Denver at five. Number four is tech-heavy San Francisco, which would be my choice if it weren't for those darn real estate prices. And now, on to our top three. Just down the road from our fourth place finisher, San Jose and Silicon Valley should come as a surprise to no one. Computer and software engineers are obviously in high demand here, and the pay rate can be astronomical. The downside is, so are the housing and living expenses. Many engineers focus on this area because they're looking to get in early on the next Facebook or Google or Uber. But even if you don't strike millions, some time spent in the Valley will still look mighty good in your resume. At number two, we have Houston. Houston, the country's fourth largest city, is at its heart an energy center. Energy is an industry that uses up a lot of engineers, and Houston has some great technical and trade shows to help feed its thirst. The city itself is growing fast, and affordable housing means that you can actually afford a home there. Estimates are that this Texas city is home to some 60,000 engineers. Lastly, topping our list is the Great Northwest's own Seattle. This beautiful emerald city, home of Starbucks and Amazon, has long been an engineering powerhouse, with a strong history of aerospace manufacturing in and around the area, not to mention shipbuilding. Today, the Wet and Wild Urban Center is attracting engineers with a lot of internet-based businesses that are looking to fill positions from computer engineers to industrial systems engineers. Between 2014 and 2015 alone, more than 50 companies set up engineering centers in the Seattle metro area. And don't worry about the famously rainy climate. We've been told by some locals that it's a bit exaggerated to keep too many out-of-staters from moving in and spoiling their green urban paradise surrounded by mountains and water. Sign me up. Thanks for watching and for all of your need-to-know engineering videos, please visit designworldonline.com.